What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how to set up a limp stack on Ubuntu 22.04. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys how to set up a limp stack on Ubuntu 22.04. And if you've been using Linux for a while, you probably heard of limp, which basically stands for Linux, NGINX, MarionDB, and PHP, which is the full stack that's needed to run a typical website like uh, WordPress, or anything with a front end as well as a back end type of website and i'm not talking about those static websites where you could just build strictly html css but i'm talking about websites that are typically written in php along with html and has a back end of a database uh, which that's the purpose of needing marion db for and that's typically used in a wordpress site which wordpress is one of the most popular content management systems out there that people tend to use to either even just set up blogs or uh, websites that they sell products on well in order to install wordpress we need a web server set up and this is a good time for me to actually show you guys how to set up the limp stack from scratch using ubuntu 22.04 so let's hop over to the server right fast and we can get started also before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq as the official supporter of rocky linux which i think is one of the best replacements for your CentOS server if you haven't been paying attention red hat announced in 2021 it will be going away with CentOS as the downstream clone for red hat and Rocky Linux is here to pick up the pieces. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, cool. So I am connected to my Ubuntu server 22.04. And let's go on and start the process of getting our LIMP stack installed and set up. Now, as I stated earlier, LIMP stands for Linux uh, Engine X marion db and php and we already have the linux portion taken care of by getting the operating system installed so this is just a base ubuntu 22.04 server now the next application we need to install or the application that we need to install on it the first one that i want to talk about is engine x which is pretty simple uh, it's very easy to install pretty much anything on this server. Uh, you just need to understand the commands. And just to start off, um, the first thing you want to do is update your server if you haven't already. So I'm going to type in the update command. It's basically sudo apt updates and press enter. And what that'll do is refresh the repositories uh, just and just check uh, for any of the applications that are installed on the system. Um, to see if they have any updates that can be updated on this server. And as you can see right now, all the packages are up to date. So we are good to go. But you need to run that command every time you install something as well. That way it refreshes those packages and you pull down the uh, correct package when you go through the install. Now let's go on and install Engine X, which is our web, web server. This basically uh, gets you set up to start hosting websites. So let's type in the command, it's basically sudo apt install and then engine x. And there we go. And all we have to do is press enter. That'll go through, uh, download the package and install it on that server. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Uh, this is, I mean, it's not that big of an application. And now that we have engine X installed it first, let's check to make sure it's up and running. And typically what I use is sudo, uh, system, system, CTL, and then we can type status and then engine X and dot service and press enter. And as you can see, it shows that our server is up and running is active as well as, uh, enabled. So right here is what you want to look for. You want to make sure it's enabled. If it's not enabled for you, uh, then it's another command you can actually run, but sudo uh, systemctl 
and simply type enable. And if it's not started, also, if it's not active and running, then you want to type um, start. But we don't have to do any of that because it's already running. That's why I just went out and ran the status command so you guys can see that the service is actually up and running. And then another way to test to make sure the server is up, uh, let's go on and uh, back some of this off and find out what our IP address is on our local network. Um, and what I did was type the IP command uh, with the A option that gives us all the information. I could have typed in the network uh, cord or network adapter, but I didn't know what it was off the top of my head. Uh, so I just typed the A. That way, I mean, it pulls in everything. It'll pull in a loop back as well as the network uh, adapter, as well as the IP address, you know, all that stuff that's associated with it. Um, but that's our IP address. So let's switch over to our browser and type in that IP address and we can verify that our Nginx server is running. All right, cool. So I have my uh, server, I mean, my browser up, but let's go down and type in that IP address. And as you can see, that's what will pop up. That'll let you know that Nginx is, has been properly installed and it is serving websites on uh port 80 so we're good to go so just by that ip address we are good to go uh by checking that okay cool so now the next thing we need to install is marion db that is the next application in our lamp stack so let's switch back over to our terminal and get through this install and it's simply uh sudo apps install and what we need to install, the package name is Marion, uh, and I'm gonna tab it out. Uh, that way you guys can see, you know, everything that's on that on here, but uh, it's Marion DB dash, and let's look through here and see if I can find it right fast. But yeah, Marion DB dash server, that's the package name. So just wanted to show you guys that so you guys can at least see what the package name is. Uh, and all we have to do is uh, type that in, press enter, go through the install and this shouldn't take too long either uh it's not that big of an application you know it's, it's basically mysql it's the exact same as mysql it's a binary drop-in replacement for mysql uh marion db mysql is actually owned by oracle well the person that i believe that created it uh created a clone of mysql uh just to ensure that the application is fully open source for the future by creating this other version and so a lot of a lot, a lot of people are switching and using MarionDB now uh for future installs of web servers and database you know management systems all right cool so the install is done and just to throw a little bit more in there i wanted to show you guys how to secure your mysql server um, there is a script that's included when you install Marion DB. Uh, it's basically a MySQL, you know, script. It was created when MySQL was the, the main package that a lot of people use. Um, so the name of the script still says MySQL on it. And instead of changing it to a longer name of Marion DB, they just left the script that's installed with Marion DB as well as MySQL. Um, it's called mysql underscore secure underscore install and it's a script on the server so let's just go down and run it right fast and really all we have to do is type sudo and then mysql and then underscore secure and then we can type it out and it should bring it up yeah and we're just basically going to run that script and this will allow us to secure the mysql server or marion db server you know a whole lot better by making changes to the configuration of the server, such as removing like anonymous users, uh, disallow root login remotely, th different things like that. And, and you'll see each one of them through this step uh, as we go through it. And the first thing we're gonna do is just press enter here. Uh, that'll bypass that step. We don't wanna change that password and then it says uh switch unix socket authentication and basically what you want to do is go through yes in each one of these steps and let's just type y press enter and we can actually type in our root password here again just to, i'm gonna just um make it the same all right now the next one is removing anonymous users so let's type a y there press enter disallow roots login remotely yes 
uh, remove test databases because by default it comes with a test database and access to it so it removes that and then reload the privilege table so we want to type y there and that'll reload it and that's pretty much it and that will greatly secure your marion db database you know uh at least by the defaults you know what i'm saying uh by removing certain things that would allow people to actually get access to the server uh if you left a lot of that on now let's go down and test our uh mysql server all we have to do is type sudo uh mysql and press enter and just so you know the commands are kind of interchangeable instead of typing marion db just type mysql and it'll work exactly the same and as you can see it says your marion db uh, connection id is 41 you know server version you know all that good stuff and we actually we can actually look at a little more let's just run a quick query a select query uh version and then let's put uh parentheses and then a semicolon at the end and press enter and that should pull our current version even though it said it right here i just wanted you guys to see it by running a command right fast but uh 10.6.7 marion db you know that's the package name or the version that's actually installed on the server so we're good to go all right so let's install the last packages in our lamp stack which is basically uh getting all our php packages installed uh so let's go down and quit uh out of the database i'm just press q semicolon that should have did it uh, or quit can't remember yeah there we go so quit uh and let's go down and clear and get this thing back up to the top and what i'm gonna do is paste in the packages uh i already had them typed out just and i'll just go through them you know quickly because it's multiple packages so you got php fpm php mysql that allows for you know um for it to work with mysql uh when you write your code uh gd uh client the php client curl uh php mb string php zip and php op cache so that's pretty much all the packages there. I'll have a list of these packages down in the description of the video. So you guys can check it out and just copy and paste and follow along and all that good stuff. Um, but let's press enter. We get these packages installed and we can get our LAMP, LAMP server uh, fully set up. So I'll be back when all these packages are done. Okay, cool. So we have all our PHP packages installed on the server. So we have a fully functioning uh, limp stack server set up on Ubuntu 22.04 Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video That is basically all the steps that you need to get a limp stack installed on Ubuntu 22.04 As you can see it's not that difficult to do you can start hosting websites and that's the thing I didn't want to go too deep where I show you guys, you know setting up a whole bunch of websites At least I was able to show you guys the test website I have done videos in the past showing you guys how to set up a WordPress site, you know, going through and setting up database backends and all that good stuff uh, for WordPress. Uh, and I'll do that in the near future for Ubuntu 22.04. I just wanted to at least show you guys how to get up and going by at least having Linux installed and then getting Engine X installed. Uh, and verify that that actually works as well as uh, Marion DB installed and PHP on the server. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it taking.